Hello, 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 everyone, and welcome. Welcome, welcome. I hope you are staying home and safe from this craziness that's going on in our weather. My goodness, it's crazy. A little bit different here today a little bit almost forgot to uh, hook up the, the phone holder camera holder whatever you want to call it whatever it's called that thing so uh, when you're coming in be sure to say hi so we can all welcome you I can't believe it's already a week later where does this time go my goodness, it goes by quickly. So I have a lot to share tonight, so I hope we get lots of viewers. Hi, Kathy. Replay viewers, if you're watching on a replay, whether you're on YouTube or Facebook, uh, be sure to uh, leave a comment. Let us know that you were here. So this, this crazy, what do I even want to call it? This crazy remnants of the uh, Canada fires are just, wow. Um, prayer is going out to those that are affected by all these fires. It's, uh, I, I don't even know. I don't even know how, how you deal with something like that. Hi, Marcia. Welcome. It's just crazy. And the smoke, you know, I actually saw... A little bit of cloudage today, if you want to call it cloudage. Um, it kind of looks like the um, the index, the what do you, what is that called? The um, breathing index, the air quality index, whatever you want to call it, seems to be uh, getting much better. Still in the um, you know the bad zone, but it's getting better. So that that's good. That's good. We'll take that. Um, but. Uh, having everything closed up we're kind of I'm kind of grateful that it's been cool and it's probably been cool because the sun can't get through so that's just nuts no the smell wasn't as bad today I agree with you Kathy um not that I was out in it but uh just letting the dog out for that you know little amount of time that I'd have the door open I was kind of like yeah not too bad and now looking out the window I kind of see a little bit of brightness with a teeny bit of blue so I think we're we're on the uh, better side of that but just prayers thoughts and prayers going out to those in Canada and everywhere else around the the country that's dealing with all these brush fires it's just unbelievable um, when I saw it on T well on YouTube I was watching YouTube and I saw it it was just I don't know so anyhow, um, everyone, welcome. If you're here, then you are on my Facebook page. And I have to think now. <laughs> Stampin' Sue Creates. I have to think of where I'm at. Because I have Stampin' Sue Creates and Stitching with Sue. So I always get those two mixed up. But we're stamping tonight. It's Thursday night, 7 o'clock Eastern Time, PA. And I want to welcome you all here. My name is Susan Timchak, and I am an independent demonstrator with Stampin' Up! And every Thursday I come live 7 p.m. Eastern Time to present to you some product and projects. And I enjoy doing this. And um, tonight we're going to be working with Gone Fishing. Can I tell you, I never thought I would be so addicted to a stamp set, well a whole suite of products, than this Gone Fishing. I have been playing with this all week all week well from the weekend I've been playing with it and I thought I would I was preparing for my upcoming class and if you're like class what class you're having a class I am trying to get classes going again so this is going to be the first since the whole outage I'll just call it outage and um, if the class is actually going to be held right here on Facebook so even if you didn't get the class purchase the class, although you still can. I'll fill you in on that. Um, you'll still be able to watch it. So um, 
those of you that, which I only have one signed up, and I have six packets. And if you can't make it the day of the live, it'll all be recorded. It'll all be here for you to watch later on when it's more convenient for you. Um, I have packets to go out, which is part of what I was doing. Let me wiggle over here. I have packets. Well, I won't show you the front because there's a little treat in there. Of everything you pretty much everything you'll need in each envelope I'll show you a sample of, of that of what's in the envelope hold on uh, okay so here is one of the projects we're going to make do you all want to see what the projects are going to be I'll share them so I have everything cut out I mean right down to these little spinners these things bobbin bobbers you name it the only thing i cannot do is stamp anything for you so the happy father's day and underneath here there's some stamping i so i have all of these things cut out so they're ready to be stamped on but i cannot stamp them okay so this is a cute little tackle box really fun you may think oh i'd never be able to make that yes you can i have to move over a little looks like i'm more over to the one side yes you can super fun so there's one project let me get the rest there's six total six total projects in all that you'll be making okay so here's the next one now i did happy father's day because it fit nice in the circle you could put whatever you want you could even make this, you know, for a uh, female and, you know, put happy birthday. And here's the inside. So everything you need for this is included. And this one, I think I pretty much have everything. You see, I have the fish. I have the embellishments. I These fish I cut out by hand. These are already stamped. You'll get it just the white piece. But I'll have everything, everything but the stamping. So that's card number two. I don't want to zhush anything up here, so. Okay, so you may think, oh, I'm not into fishing. But when I saw this, I saw a Christmas card. Now, I didn't put a saying on here yet. I want to say Merry Christmas. But I made it into Christmas ornaments, the bobber. And a little bit of bling under there. So I cut all of this out for you. The only difference is there's going to be different string because I realized this is retired and I didn't, I didn't have enough. So, um, but isn't that fun? Christmas ornaments. So don't think it's just for, you know, men. Uh, here's another one. So that's for how many? Four. Here's another one. Very, very cute. Good things come to those who wait. And cute little bobber. And the inside. So you will have everything you need. Envelopes. Insides. Now, I do have to make a disclaimer. If you're missing a piece of something, please don't scream at me. I did my best. I went through multiple times to make sure, um, but sometimes, you know, things happen. So if you are missing, I mean, you won't be missing a, a big thing. You might be, you know, missing a little thing. I'm trying to get this one out. Here's the next card. Now, isn't that cute? So this is all designer series paper. So some of them I cut out, some of them I didn't. Um, I'm thinking I just gave you the piece you'll have to cut out. And here's the inside of that. A little bit of a, a I wouldn't call it fancy fold, but a little bit of a fold. Now let me put these. Here's like all the components, everything needed. Let me put these back in the envelope. Oh my goodness, everything's falling. Oh my goodness. Oh no, don't fall. Okay, I'll get that later. Okay, so that, and the next card, so that's how many so far? We have one, two, three, four, five. Oh, okay, and then I have one more, uh, and, oh, and then, don't forget that one. This one is going to be, you will get a, you won't get a choice, but you'll get one of these, and you'll have components to complete it. This is part of the add-on kit from the Paper Pumpkin for the month of May. 
So I put little fish here. They're all kind of done differently. So you're kind of going to be on your own, but you will have the uh, card base and envelopes to, to do and decorate as you please. So it's really, it's going to be a lot of fun. Like I said, it's going to be here. It's going to be live. Now you may be wondering, oh, how am I going to get a kit? If you want a kit with everything cut and ready for you to go, all you need to do is the stamping. Then all you have to do is let me know. The cost of the class is only $40. And you're making six detailed cards, six of them. And you also, um, if you live local, you could do porch pickup because otherwise I have to, unfortunately, shipping is so expensive. I have to add on uh, priority mail shipping, which is $9. Okay, um, and I'm sorry for that, but that's beyond what I can do. So the last day to sign up for this is this coming Sunday, which is the 11th. So June 11, 2023, the final day to sign up. Like I said, I only have limited kits available. And they would, the kits will be mailed out on Monday, June 12th, Priority Mail. So this should give you plenty of time to get them in the mail. So if you're watching and the deadline hasn't passed and you'd be interested, then definitely give me a shout out and I, you could pay by PayPal and it'd be said and done. And it's going to be a lot of fun. I'm looking forward to it. So we will be working on the Gone Fishing and the Gone Fishing, you can buy the whole suite, kit and caboodle, where you get the stamps, the dies, the paper, and um, everything included is one number, sixteen fifteen forty six for only $72. The paper is 12 by 12. The paper is beautiful. I've shown the paper before, so I won't waste your time with that. But um, it's absolutely perfect. Now, a little heads up of what all is going on. Uh, we currently have a starter kit promotion. So for only $99, you can get $155 worth of products. So it's a great deal. It's a great time to sign up because you're getting more in your starter kit. I currently have a host code, which is S7SNTWUP. And that is for the month of June. So if you're placing any orders, please use the host code when you're placing orders. If your order is $150 or more, don't use the host code because I want you to get all the benefits that come with placing a $150 or more workshop, which is what it's considered. And you get host benefits for that. You get a 10% host benefit. So keep that in mind. And we currently have the promotion of the Designer Series Paper Sale. So if you're going to get the uh, Gone Fishing or Going Fishing papers and whatnot, you can get pick yourself up an extra set at 15% off. So this is only during June, from June 1st through the 30th of 2023, 15% off. Now, the specialty papers are not included, but all these others they are that's a great deal i stocked them and i'm just trying to remember what it was i bought now i'll give you a little heads up as to what's going to be happening in july so i'm planning on doing these uh, well, i'm just going to look it up in the back um planning on doing these um classes online wait let me look for it Oh, what the heck is it called now? Hmm. I don't I don't know what it's called. Hold on. The one with all the little houses, like the French one. Anybody know that offhand? That's the suite I'm gonna be focusing on for the July card kit. If anybody knows that before I find it. <laughs> Yell it out. Where's our Mary? Our Mary's always here. She always is able to uh, yell out things when I cannot find them. I should have put a post-it note there. But, oh my gosh, this paper is amazing. I can't wait to get it. I might be doing uh, one night just using the Designer Series paper cards. Although, there's a lot of DSP that I'm using. Oh my goodness, I can't find it. 
Oh, you know what the sweet collections are? Can you list it in the front? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I thought so. <laughs> Bright and beautiful. Oh, there it is, 3031. See, if I would have kept going, I would have found it. Yes, that's it. It's called Lay Le, Le Shops. And, oh my gosh, it is simply adorable. I mean, you can make millions of cards just with the DSP. So this is another suite, and it includes the stamps, the dies, the 12 by 12 DSP, along with the, um, I have that listed here, along with the loose silver sequins. Ooh, this is so cute. You know, this is like, who remembers paper dolls? I know you're probably all around my age, or you remember people talking about it. This is like paper dolls, but you're building little villages. And I just want to tell you in a little secret. I heard a rumor that there are going to be Christmas dies and a Christmas set that goes along with that bundle. Just saying. So, what another reason to get it. Let me grab a drink and we'll get going. Okay. So, um, the other thing that you'll need for the, for the class, of course, you can use any colors you want. I'm working all with the new ink colors. Boho Blue. I'm not sure if I use Moody Mob, but I may. Copper Clay. Pebbled Path. Wild Wheat. And two favorite colors, Mossy Meadow and Poppy Parade. So those are the ink colors, and I just keep them right here on my desk because everything I seem to be doing now is those colors. All right. So, um, okay, so for the uh, Gone Fishing, there is a, a 3D uh, folder, and it's called Twisted Rope. I'm not sure if you can see it there. Kind of not really an easy way to share it with you. But it looks like it's rope. Very cool. Very sailor-like. Very fishy-like kind of thing. That is a coordinating piece that goes along with it. And I want to share with you... Uh, let me show you the, the dies. Okay, there are a lot of dies here. So this, these two... <clears throat> excuse me, I'm going to be doing that all night. Uh, these two are for the tackle box. This one has the hinge, and that would be the clasp. And look at this piece, too. I mean, you don't have to use this. This makes... You don't have to use this just for the card, for making the tackle box. This fits um, perfectly a card front, and it rounds your edges. So when you look at things, look at them a little bit differently. Um, it has, of course, all the, the hooks, the bobbers, this little thing with this little thing, and this little thing makes another bobber. Um, you have the little buoys. Now, if you're wondering, what is this thing? Okay, what is this thing? And what is this thing? Well, what it does, and I'm going to show you. Oh, and don't forget, there's a wave. That will cut your paper like a wave. And I'm going to show you that because I, actually I just finished it up. The glue might not even be dry yet. Here's a card I just did. I told you I can't stop working with it. And what this does is it makes this wave kind of thing. So I have two layers of it. Not sure if you could see it. But that's how I tucked in the little bobber. And this, where is it at now? This one. When you put this on top and cut it through your die cut machine, it makes a slice so you could put your fish coming out. I'm not sure if it's glued down there. Can you see how it, I don't know how else to share it with you, but can you see how that makes a cut in there? So you run it through the die cut with the one on top and that, and you can make two different sizes. So if you have a little tiny fish that's going to pop out, you use the smaller one. I would imagine you can use this too on your um, paper for other things. Like maybe you're making a card and you want to, I don't know, you want to for some reason put dimes in it. Maybe dimes would fit in there. I mean, think of other things you can use. Don't just look at a fishing set. Okay? 
Um, oh, and it has hooks. You when you do one, you, you do two. You do two, and um, it's photopolymer, so you could see through it. Now you can see how much I've used it. I mean, pretty much every stamp has been used. But I thought this little card was super cute. And don't forget your wink of Stella, because I used it. Not sure if you could see. I used it on the water, and I put it on the fish. And I have to remember to do that. Tuck the little bobber in there. My gosh, it's so cute. And this saying, it doesn't matter where you're going. It's who you have beside you. That is from the paper pumpkin kit from May. I want to start incorporating previous paper pumpkin kits with the stamp sets because I never use them after it's done. You know, I want to go back and use it. But I thought this little guy looking up at him and that little saying, it doesn't matter where you're going, it's who you have beside you. I thought that was like, kind of like mean, maybe, <laughs> but funny. All right. So uh, really cute. You can make a ton of those and hand them out for many, many reasons. All right. Let's get the party going here. Um, I have three cards tonight. Let's uh, pray that it all works and I'm not losing anything. I thought I would um, incorporate the stamp and pierce mat. Now normally it's double this size. I cut mine in half because I use one side for stamping although it has poke holes, holes in it. One for stamping and the other one was for doing the poking. We don't do too much poking anymore but um, I've had these for a while now. Also, with photopolymer, you want to use something like this, or even your silicone mat, or even if you have, um, if you had stocked up from the, um, the placement, what's that called? Um, all right, you know what I mean, to do the, that, it's discontinued now, it's the, to do the two-step stamping kind of thing. Somebody will yell that out, I know. Um, they have these papers that went in it. And, uh, you know, you can uh, use this because it's like a paper pack. So it has a little bit of cushion. Uh, Stamparatus. There we go. Sometimes things don't come right to me anymore these days, but they will eventually. You know, I'm almost embarrassed to say that there's a girl that I worked with that... Um, I could not think of her name. Like that's how I think I'm getting mush brain from not working and not stimulating my mind a lot. So I need to start doing things. I don't know, somebody said crossword puzzles. I absolutely despise those. So if anybody knows of anything that's a good mind working thing, let me know. Oh, and there goes my little announcement. Okay, so first card. First card, because I thought, you know, everything is manly. Let's do something for the ladies, because we fish too, right? So I did this cute little card, and I glued this down, and did a happy retirement, and these cute little fish, of course, they need a little bling. And guess what? I did. I've been so productive. I put these sizes on all the papers. Well, I'm going to say hopefully all the papers. Okay. So those of you that are watching, that are wondering what are the sizes of the papers, you're in for it because I got it. So now this is your, your regular eight and a half by 11, cut in half, scored at four and a quarter. And I, I've heard another tip. I, I didn't try this yet, but let's, let's try this together. Even though this is scored, and I have to find my bone folder here. Even though this is scored, how many of you end up where you fold it and it, one piece still overlaps. Well, here's a trick that I heard about. I'm gonna put the two ends together. I'm using my paper trimmer. I'm not gonna do no trimming. Two ends together and bone folder. And let's see if it worked. And yes, look, it did. It's perfect. There's not one size that overlaps on the other. So yay, keep that in mind, folks, because I have that problem all the time, and I know I'm not the only one. And Miss Dory has come to join us this evening. You want to say hello to everybody? Oh, you see, she's so sweet. I'm going to put my card here because I forget everything. Okay, so I have a piece of Very Vanilla. This is for the inside. 
It's two and three quarters by five and a quarter. I have a small little thin piece at one half by five and a quarter. So you can just take a screenshot of all this. I have another strip of paper, one by five and a quarter. And I have a, another piece of the designer series paper at two and three quarters by five and one quarter. And then I have some circles out of vellum. I did one and I actually cut it down a little bit. I did two of those. So the circles are from the, um, you know, my favorite, the stylus shapes. I used the largest one and not the next largest one. So the third one in and the last one, I used the stylus shapes. And then what I did on the edge, because, well, you'll see it's too big. What I did on the edge is I just cut it. And I, I thought that was kind of cute. Okay, so let's 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 do this, folks. Let's let's let us <laughs> let us do this. Okay, do I have stamping? Yes, I will have stamping. The uh, happy retirement. So let me get that one out. But don't think that this, you know, oh, that's the happy Father's Day. Don't think that this is just has to be for the for the guys, you know. We like to fish too. Although I have to I have to be honest with you, uh I finally will put a worm on the hook. Never did it as a kid. My poor father. God rest his soul. He was as patient as could be. But he did have to take the fish off, which weren't many because you know, I didn't get that many. Um and oh and I have ribbon. Isn't this beautiful ribbon? It's um, organdy ribbon, and what do they actually call it? Variegated ribbon. And it has that little bit of blue. I'm not sure if you could see it, but there's a little bit of blue on there. I use that as well. All right. So, and this is uh, petal pink. Petal pink. And I stuck with the very vanilla. Okay, I think I got everything there. All right. So, let's get our little pieces. So, now the first thing I did was I scored. And I didn't write that down. <laughs> Go figure. Okay, so I scored at, it looks like one and a quarter. Looks like one and a quarter. So I'm going to take my card. And I'm going to put this in here. Now let me think how I did this. Put this in here. And at one and a quarter is where I scored. So... Here's a quarter there, one and a quarter there, and I use the scoring blade. Now my scoring blade is white because you can't get them through Stampin' Up. And this is from scrapbook.com and they fit our, they also have blades, but you didn't hear that from me. They fit our, um, our little uh, cutter very well. Okay, so I'm gonna fold this back and I'm gonna burnish with my bone folder. I love that word burnish. I've been hearing everyone using it and I'm like, oh, I have to burnish. To burnish. Okay, so take my posties off. Maybe I can recycle them. And I'm gonna use my um, liquid glue because I feel it's very forgiving. And it helps when you put it in a holder like something like that or a glass or or take a, um, you know, a uh, like a shot glass, and I've seen people fill it up with hot glue, and then they literally take this and stick it in, and this piece stays inside, so then, you know, you just be able to put your glue on there. I mean, that's a thought. That's a thought. Okay, so before I forget, I want to go ahead and put my um, ribbon down. So now the variegated ribbon, one side has a little blue, the other side has white, and um, it's just a nice little touch. And because of the fact that I don't have a whole lot of ribbon, because everything retired, and I'm looking for my tape runner. Here it is. I'm going to use the tape runner on here. Now you're not going to see the ribbon, but because everything retired, you know, I'm 
plumb out of a lot of stuff and I'm not in a situation that um, I could go and buy everything I want. So I'm going to take my ribbon and I'm going to put it on the inside and I'm going to wrap it around and I'm going to cut that off. Oh dear. <laughs> All right, let me cut that off. I'm going to pull it and push it to the inside. I need to tighten that up a little bit. So holding ribbon is probably your better to use your um, tape roller because then you know you could peel it up. Okay, there we go. And I'm going to glue this down. I don't think I have to do anything else. If I do, then, oops, oh well. Yeah. I'm starting to learn, you know, don't sweat the small stuff. Because it's mostly all small stuff, and it doesn't really matter. So if something doesn't work out the exact way, uh, we get over it, right? Okay. All right, so now we have the uh, two and three quarters by five and a quarter. And what did I do with this? What did I do with that? Oh, that goes on the front. It goes on the front. Duh. So you could do this way too, but you know, we're going with the fishing theme. So, so this paper has a great other side too. So if you notice, the other side is just as nice. So these little lures, lures, I'm going to go right on there. Isn't that pretty? Don't you love it? Um, and then take my little sticky notes and this is going to be for our inside and I think I'm going to use a little bit of mossy meadow to do my saying and one of the good things you should always do is to stamp on your paper first before you put it in your card because if you just up you got the opportunity to go in and do it again on the other side and we don't tell nobody. All right, happy retirement. Yay. And my cleaner. I'm using my chamois. I just clean those even though they look like total disaster, but they're clean. You don't have to use any type of chemicals. And I love that, not using chemicals. Because we use enough chemicals for everything else, so... Not using chemicals is a good thing. Whoop. All right, let me close this up. Because I already foresee something happening. Okay, let's bring our card back in. This is going to go on the inside. But I do a lot of talking, and it kind of makes, makes it seem like, you know, forever to do these cards. But they're, you know, they're not that hard to do. Trust me, not hard to do. this here okay and now for our outside I'm going to take my little circles and um, the one thing with vellum is if you put glue on the outside you're not going to be able to uh, cover that up it's going to show so if you're going to glue something with vellum something to the top of it put that piece on first okay so we're going to Put that on first right to the edge then when I go to put it on my card I'm only going to put glue where you're not going to see it Ooh, my finger is stuck okay so this I put right up here I made it even with the DSP and then uh, the little fish, I cut them out. And there we go. One goes one way, one goes the other. And I'm going to use dimensionals to put them down. And we are almost done. So this is real quick. It's a real, like a, it's like a fun fold, I guess. I guess I did a fun fold, folks. <laughs> okay. And let me get more for the other one. And I'll show you something else after I complete all of this. OK. 
Okay, let's get the... Now, when you go to put your fish, don't put it anywhere here where the hinge is. How do I know that? I learned it. <laughs> but it does come up pretty nice if you have to do. Okay, so this little piece here is going to go on the inside. You could do either side. I kind of like the stripes. Or you can do it on this side. Whatever, whatever floats your boat. <laughs> the fishing. Get it? Boat fishing. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Okay. All right. So let's put that, tuck that right in there. Give our inside a little something whoop de doo Okay. So now I have my little strip of rhinestones. These rhinestones have been showing up, I think, almost each class I do. All right. So let's see. I'm going to do... For their eyeballs. I know that's kind of large. Maybe I should put that. Well, no, they're both about the same size. And I'm going to put the other one on that eyeball. I know they kind of look a little, little creepy. And um, then I'm going to put one here. And because these are little ones, I'm going to use two. So I'm using five total. And there you go. There's your card. Let me put that aside. Let me get rid of these. And uh, let's look at the samples on the right. This one's on the left. And look at how cute they are with a little happy retirement. So there you go. That's card number one. Let me get a drink. So welcome anyone that's in here. I think we lost some people. Maybe talking to myself. Hi, Dory. Yes, yeah, she says hi. Oh, hi, Fran. Word search? Okay, I'll do that. I'm sure I could find them online. I could just print them off. Because I don't want to go and buy a whole book of word search. Even though I do I do like word search. I have to admit, I do like it. I do like to play with that. Okay. All right, let's do uh, card number two. This time we're going to incorporate some linen thread. Linen thread. And I'm like, why is this so heavy? Oh, because I have the dies in there. Okay. It just gets so crowded on this desk. So here is our next card. And of course, you know, we need a little bling. So... The saying is, good things come to those who wait. But I think good things come to those who fish. So that's what I'm doing for this one. And designer series paper, again, this is that, if anybody was has been around, this was a celebration item a few years back. Well, they brought it out that you can purchase it now. So it has the gold and the silver. And, of course, I use the silver. And we need the bling, right? We, we need the bling. And here's my inside, a little fishy swimming in the water. Okay. So let's see if Sue remembers how to put this one together. I did incorporate with this. Let me take all my components out. I did incorporate the uh, deckled rectile rectangle dies and I'm going to show you how I use that because you might be like well, where do you use that and I also incorporated the uh, alphabet a la mode I would rather it be apple pie a la mode but take that I started checking my sugars again because I noticed my blood work my sugar was a little high so I'm like oops so started checking my sugars so it have to be sugar free uh, so here is the alphabet. Now the great thing about this alphabet is that the most more popular letters, not that we're showing favoritism, but A E I O U, and there might be S. Uh, maybe not. Uh, yeah, there is S. So of course for Susan, you know they they know they know what they're doing. They have doubles, and they have a couple other little do daddy things that are for. Like European markets so these are great I highly recommend with these the um, the sticky paper that we have the adhesive sheets especially when you're doing these letters I I recommend it for a lot of um, small things that you're putting together but 
for um, the little fish. So what I did was I ran it through. Ooh, this thing is like choking me here. <laughs> My little cancer treatment machine. Um, ran it through the, um, the embossing folder with the one that looks like the ropes. And then I put on, this is the adhesive sheet. And then I just put my letters in there. I, I did add a little bit of uh, color to it, just a little bit of brushing with the um, the brushes. And uh, put my letters on there and cut them out. And I know I saw them here, that they're here somewhere. Fish, the word fish, right? So that's what we're talking about tonight. So I won't need that. But um, let me get the rest of my things. Oh, my head is itchy. So let me show you. <clears throat> so you may be looking at these, these rectangle decal dies. And you're like, but Sue, I don't see any that fit that. So let me show you what I did. Because it was going to be too long. I didn't want that other word on there. So I took, I think it was this one. It doesn't matter which one you're doing. You can do this with any of them. So I cut it out so it would have been the full one. And then what I did is I moved it up and I ran it through again to cut out and give you the decal edge all around. And that's how I got that. So I didn't want to put you through the torture of watching me trying to do that. So I did it ahead of time. But that's how it's done. I've done that with a lot of different dies. A lot of dies you can do that with. All right. Let's get our pieces. I got a little bobber. Actually, I got two bobbers. The, the bobber is really good, good because you, it's two-step. You do the bobber and then you do the color. So, I mean, I grew up with red bobbers. I know probably they make all different color ones now but that's what I grew up with oh there's my F okay so our base that we're using for this card is misty moonlight five and a half by eight and a half scored at four and a quarter okay let me try to make some room here so we have another piece the one that has the uh, lines going through it where it kind of looks like plank wood three and three quarters by two and a half. We have a strip of this sparkly, sparkly doodads, a half by four, and the Let's Go Fishing DSP, five by three and three quarters. And there's the back of it, kind of looks like a mappy thing. So this one looks like waves. And then I have um, basic white, two of them, four by five and a quarter. One for the outside, one for the inside. All right, so here we go. Okie dokes. I have to refer to my picture. All right, let me put that over there. Let's try our trick again. How many of you remember the trick? If only I could find my bone folder. There it is. Buried, buried treasure. So, they say you put, put the two ends together, bun it, bump, it, bump it up against the top, score with the bone folder, and voila, perfect every time. Well, two out of two, two out of two. So, is anybody going to try that trick? Let me know. This cord is just sliding and choking me okay <laughs> I know I know this is going to be for my inside so I'm just going to tuck it there for now so for the outside we're going to do our basic white the four and five by five and a quarter and the other piece the let's go fishing DSP that is going to go over there so let's glue this on so let me know does anybody go fishing or maybe you have a you know a better half or you have you know other people in your family that go fishing the one thing I always wanted to do although I don't know if I'd really want to do it but I always thought it might have been fun was like deep sea fishing I've never done that 
And I don't know, it just seems like it would be fun. But, so I'm going to use, this is our linen thread. I like this because it's thin, you know, nice and thin. And it kind of gives you the look, you know, rustic, right? And that's what we're going for. Oh, so before I do that, though, where's my glitzy piece? I need that, and I need this other little piece. Okay, let me get those out of the way. So this piece is going to go down the bottom, and I know you're all saying, oh, you know, you shouldn't be wasting it, blah, blah, blah. Well, I mean, I could cut it. The fishies on the other side are really nice, too. I could just cut this and save the other half, but, you know, it gives the card a little more stability. And maybe I just was tired, and I just didn't want to. I mean, it's only DSP. You could always buy more, right? Okay, so that's going to go there. And then this strip is going to go right across, because I don't like how it, you know, it has that line with the two of them. This is going to go right across all the way over this, over the white. So put that on next. All right. Hopefully I'm not forgetting anything. Because I did this, I, I start working. As soon as this live is over, I already start working on what next week is going to be. Can you believe that? That I would do that? <laughs> you know, because it's just, you know, I never know what, what life is going to bring me. And I'd rather be ready than not. So I'm going to take this um, linen thread and wrap it around a few times. And you could do a bow, but if a bow's not your thing, then don't worry about it. Oh, and I need my little friend. Um, I need my glue dots. Where is that roll? Oh, here it is. Everything gets, you know, has legs on my desk. And I know I'm not the only one. I'm going to take a little glue dot. You could roll it up if you want. And I'm going to place it on my card. So then when I go to tie my rib, my ribbon, my twine, see, that's like a third hand. I know. So I think I'm going to do a bow. I think I think I'm going to do a bow. Let me try that again. The hands are... All right, let me try it. The third time's a charm. Oh, I even lost my little glue dot on there. There it goes. Okay, so take it easy. I think that piece is too short is what the problem is. Okay, let me twist, twist it around. Oh man, this is like a hot mess here. Oh, I don't know what that was, did y'all? No, somebody hears it here in my house. Okay. What am I doing here? Give me my end. Aurora hears it. I heard it too. I mean, you would think this is like the easy part of the card. Is it just the tie uh, ribbon? But my hands aren't what they used to be. And I don't know where that glue dot went. Let me try another one. Pokey tool. Blue dot. All right, let me put it there. <laughs> there. Okay. All right, let's try this again. Where the heck is the glue dot? Did it come off? No, it didn't. Oh, and I have news. Those of you that don't follow me on my personal page, I had my... Uh, what in the heck? That glue dot isn't coming off. Now with it. My uh, neuro-ophthalmology appointment, and um, I passed the test for driving. So, oh my gosh. Note to self, don't use this twine on live events. So what that means is um, the ophthalmologist okayed me to drive. So she said, as long as it's okay with everyone else. So Monday, 
I'm, I'm glad to get get done with this bow. Monday I uh, have an appointment with my surgeon and uh, I'm gonna, you know, of course ask him what he thinks and if he gives the okay, then I'll be able to drive. But I'm just, you know, I'm already, you know, planning I'm just doing local trips. Like if I have to go to the store or take the dog to wherever she has to go, you know, that that's going to be the plan. I'm not going to be doing like an hour drive to Allentown and take my embroidery machines or anything. I'm going to put this piece up on top with the, uh, because I feel it's like water, you know, so the water's up on top. So um, I was excited to hear that. So Monday I have an appointment with the surgeon and I also have an appointment. This is going to get glued on here. Uh, right after that with the eye doctor, the regular eye doctor, because to have a um, eye exam, and I know I need a new prescription because this one's just not cutting it for me. And it's been a couple years, maybe three. Okay, so there we go. So there I filled in some chit chat. Okay, so I need a bobber and some fishies. But first, let's move that. Um, I'm going to glue this down first, and then I'm going to put my letters to say good things come to those who fish. Now you can, the great thing with an alphabet is you can say anything you want, anything. So this already has the adhesive on the back, and this is going to be challenging again, um, but with an alphabet, you know, if if they're not providing the words or word that you need, you know, do your own. Okay. So I'm, I'm not going to press it down all the way in case I have to move it. <clears throat> I think I hear someone cutting the grass. <coughs> Probably that crazy neighbor that's down around the corner that cuts it at like 10 o'clock at night. But I can't, oh, I'm gonna move it over a little more. <coughs> get a drink. I get that little tickle, you know, tickle, tickle, tickle in my throat. But um, yeah, this crazy neighbor here, it's like the one night I took the dog out to do her final, uh, her final duties. And I'm like, what in the world is that noise? And yep, it was him over there cutting his grass at 10 o'clock at night. Hopefully my bald head isn't in the way. Okay, F-I, oh, that's crooked. Everything I do is crooked. I know that there's a way you can take it and, you know, you can uh, align it up on some kind of thing or something or another, but let me put it right in front of me. Okay, that's good. Let's not push it. Let's just do it. So there is, you know, you could align it up on a post-it note and then, you know, release it to, you know, go down and all that stuff. But, you know, the saying, ain't nobody got no time for that. So, so yes, good news is happening all around me. And I'm very excited. And, um, but I have to tell you, I'm nervous. I'm nervous about going on the road again. I think I gotta move my S over. I'm nervous because, you know, it's been, I think I'm gonna put my H. It's been since uh, October that I have driven. My poor car, you know, needs inspection and hopefully it passes. It has a few recalls. All right, I'm just gonna do that. There we go. So here, good things come to those who fish. There's a few recalls that have happened that, you know, they keep sending me, you know, and I'm thinking, well, how do you expect me to bring it, you know, for that when uh, I can't even drive it? I have to call my insurance. I'm going to put this so it looks like the bobber's hanging on there. And then our couple little fish. So let me see what fish we have. So this fish is from the designer series paper. So let me see. I really love this fish. So I definitely have to use him. I'm not showing favoritism, but I like him. 
so look out folks I may be back on the road again okay no. let's have this one go this way now there are fish that you can stamp and there's lures that you can stamp and you can color them in you can use your stamp and blends you can cut them out on designer series paper um, you know there's a, a lot of other things you can do all right there we go and then I thought a little something something on the inside I'm not sure why I have a second bobber but I may throw it on the card okay Here's this little fishy here. Mm, let me see. I'll put a bobber up there. Why not? I don't know why I cut two of them. But so be it. Okay. Um, oh, what did I do with those? I'll probably in the next card. There is one more card, folks. So I'm going to bring in... These I've been using almost every week. These are the in color dots. I love them, love them, love them. And because I'm using all the in colors, so we're gonna make it look like this little fishy is like bloop. And then this little fishy is like bloop. And let's just do another bloop. Oh, too far up. <laughs> Come on. Oh my goodness. There we go. Sometimes it's the simple things in life that give you trouble. All right, so there we go. There's our two cards. Yay! I better push my fish down a little more. So this one I put three fish. And uh, here's the inside. And then there's this one. This now what I'm going to do when I'm done with all these cards is I'm going to go over all of them with my Wink of Stella. Okay, I'm just going to do that all in one shot. All right, one more, folks. Hopefully you can hang out for one more card. Um, and again, another happy retirement. Let me get my pieces. All righty. Let me show you the card. Oh, I'm losing a hook. Um, a happy retirement. You know, you just got to do some bling when you're doing retirement. And here's the inside. So let's get this one going. All right. So we're using Boho Blue. Boho Blue is our base card. Again, eight and a half by five and a half scored at four and a quarter. And let's do our little trick. Although I have to say, it's kind of a pain to be bringing this out every time. But whatever. Hey, if it makes my card a little more better, <laughs> if that's such a thing, why not? Okay. I think I have to do that a little more. Because it's still flopping up. The bone folder definitely keeps your card from flopping up. So we like that. Okay, so we have um, our background five by four, five by four and, and three fourths. Oh, I see. Cut one. This is the top. Five by four and three fourths. Oh, yoy. That's been a day, folks. Oh, I have my uh, very vanilla first. Uh, five and a quarter by four. And we'll have two of them, both the same, one for the inside, so I'll throw that one in here. And if you notice, I like to do this with the DSP, is to kind of, you know, load it up a little bit. So now this one, I have to trim this. So yeah, that's the best thing about this paper, is it's double-sided. Let me bring that paper trimmer in. And again, I didn't write down what I cut that at. Looks like three okay so I'm going to cut this at three is it three no that's not right hold on measure twice uh, let me see 
No, that's two. I think it's two. <laughs> Let's do two. What do y'all think about two? Two for you, two for me. Then we'll see how it will be. I know I don't get out much, so you just have to, you know. Okay, so we'll put that up here. And then we're going to flip it over. And oh, voila, look at that. Oh, am I not like good or am I not good? I mean, why not? You know, I love both sides and I hate having to put glue on one side. So let's just incorporate both of them. So up here at the top of my very vanilla, we got our fishy swimming. And then down here at the bottom, we have our water. That's how I looked at it. That is how I looked at it. So I think I'm going like really late tonight. So I hope you folks don't have any plans. Or if you're watching the replay, you may just fast forward through everything and say, she just gibbers too much. Okay. Um, so then I have all my other pieces. Again, with that fancy paper. Now, one thing I wanted to share with you is this is the part, oh my gosh, if I could pick it up. This is the part of the tackle box, right? When you cut out the inner part, you have all of these pieces that are in there. Well, these are the pieces that were in there. Well, we're not going to let them go to waste, right? So we're going to use them to stamp on. So I just wanted to share that with you. You know, you get a lot of use out of these dies. So this one I'm just going to put aside and um, I'm going to take my, I really wanted a different braided trim, but it was back ordered. So I had to order this one and it's called threaded twine. And I think the first one I kind of wrapped a little bit, but I don't really want to wrap it because it's, it's bulky, but it's perfect for these kind of cards. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go along here with my glue, my holder, and I'm going to place the twine over top of it. Now I know this is liquid glue and I know it doesn't adhere, you know, eventually it will, so we'll just work around that. Okay, so now let's decorate. <clears throat> so I took one of these. Which one did I? And did I stamp it? <clears throat> Get this tickle in my throat. <coughs> um, I do have asthma, and I think that it's being affected by the smoke, even though I've not left my house. Okay, so I am going to use... So this is... Um, this cardstock is Pebbled Path. And I'm going to use Pebble Path to stamp. And we're going to do the Happy Retirement again. Only because it fits good. <laughs> and I know there's probably a lot of people that are, that's crooked, that are retiring. And I'm sure they're very happy. All right. Okay, so I'm going to stamp Happy Retirement. Now, it looks really nice if you emboss it with white. I'm just saying. But we would be here another three hours. So, okay. So I'm going to put this together. I'm going to work around that ribbon. Twine. So happy retirement up here. And I think it goes pretty good. What do y'all think? You think it goes pretty good? I do. I do. I do. All right. Let's get our other pieces. Let's get these out of the way. So look at all these I already have cut that I can use for sentiments or sayings or, you know, a whole background of them would be pretty cool. All right. And baggy. So we're going to put our little bobber like it's tucked up underneath here. Faux tuck up. My goodness, it's starting to already get dark outside a faux tuck up like that and then uh, these little hooks you know, even though like a bobber is not really 
well, I guess it's the bobber, but then you usually go down a little bit with your line and then your hook is down the end, but <clears throat> we're just going to do this just because. And I could do two hooks if I want, but I'm not going to. And then we have this little blingy blingy. Now there's a big hump a lump of here. So I'm going to use dimensionals. I'm using the um, standard dimensionals. The minis would probably work good here too, but I want to make sure it sticks. Okay, and I'm just going to go right over that hump a lump, just like that. And uh, oh, I have this other little doodaddy thing, which I'm not really sure what that is. But I think this is one of those things that are kind of hooked onto the line to kind of get the fish's attention. Like, hello, come here because I want to catch you. Okay, so now I got a couple fish. And again, the DSP is what I used. And you could put, the, put them up on dimensionals. So this guy is going for the gusto. He's like, yeah, man, I want that treat on that hook. So he's gonna be the fish going for gusto. All right. So he's like, yeah, man, look at that, how cool that sparkle thing is. You know why I'm Fred. I'm all about the sparkle, Fred. And here's Fred. Fred's like, yeah, I don't know if that's a good idea. All right, let's put Fred here. Fred's like, oh, I don't think so. Doesn't that fish look like a durr? You know, like he's, you know, <clears throat> not all there. Okay, so this, this is pretty good now. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to trim it off. Because when I did the other one, it, it made it too bulky. Oh, actually that. Woo, that went flying. I'll find that next time I move the desk. Um, the other way, it made it too bulky. Okay, so let's glue this to the front. A couple embellishments, and we will be done. Do a little week of Stella. Stella, Stella. Mary would be proud. I didn't think I saw her here, but Mary, you're watching the replay. We're doing the Stella, baby. Okay, let's do our inside. Oh, I think I have like a mosquito bite on my face. Something's itchy. All right, what do we got left that we can decorate? We got this guy going. Do, 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 do. Is that the way he's going? Wait, hold on. Yeah, that's the way he's going. I think I'm going to put a hook in his mouth. Whoa, put a hook in his mouth. So you can have so much fun with this. If you have kids, or heck, I'm not a kid, but I'm having a lot of fun. You know, you have grandkids, you have neighbors, you, you know. You can just have so much fun with this that, uh-oh. Oh, dear. Okay, well, that's why I cut two. Let's try that again. I should be using my tweezers. Oh, a little too much. Okay. Uh, he's going to get hooked. I know, it just kind of looks like it's floating in the air, but that's okay. It's, it's a card. All right, so this is the inside. We leave you plenty of room to tell your friend congratulations on their retirement. We wish them luck. And happy, happy trails. All right. And I got all sticky doodah, glue da. And where are those little doodads again? I need them. And let's put a couple <clears throat> of these. And I think um, uh, I'm going to use the, the pebble ones. I don't know. I just feel like I need to use the pebble ones. So we could put one here. Who says that the bloop bloops coming from the fish have to be blue? Well, I'll just put one down here because he's already, it's too late for him. He's already done. He's already done. Fisherman's already getting the pan ready to fry him up. And we'll give Fred here a little bloop. He's going, I don't know. That's not a good idea. Don't go near there. <laughs> All right. I know. 
I'm a woman that, you know, needs a life. Okay, so there we have it. My messy, messy desk. But here's what I do. I like to put my true crime on, and I sit and I stamp fish, and I stamp lures, and I color them, and I cut them out, and I put them all in a baggie. Then when I want to make something, they're already done. So how about that? Okay. Um, now don't forget your Wink of Stella. And if, you, if you're like me, it always zhushes out at me. So here's a little tip. Take a block, squeeze some out, and then kind of use it like a paint. And just go over your little fish, and it will just give you enough. Because, you know, when fish are, like, in the water, they're kind of, like, glittery. And I'm not sure if you could see that. You could do a little bit in the water, you know, a little bit there, whatever. Um, but that's what I'm going to do. Now, these are the fish that were on the DSP. So I don't have to worry about any ink bleeding. You do want to be careful with that. You don't do too much because then your ink is going to bleed. But I'm going to put that aside. And when I close up here with you guys, I'm going to go back and um, do that. So let's take a look at uh, everything I created tonight besides a mess. So we did this one here with the uh, happy retirement. And see this, I just don't like that. I may have to cut that off. And then I did uh, good things come to those who fish. There's that one. Am I cutting them off? I don't know where my camera is now. Let me see, is it, do I go this way? This way? No, the other way. Well, you'll all see them because I'll post them. I always post my uh, projects on Facebook. And you'll see them there on the Stampin' Sue Creates page. And then we have this pretty little card. So I think they all came out great. What do y'all think? Is there anyone left here? <laughs> Sometimes I just gibber on like, you know, you're all in front of me and I'm just chatting away. And it's hard to read again because I have a white thing over here and I can't see. So let me move that. Uh, love these from Betty. Gotta go. Great cards tonight. Oh, thank you, Sherry. Great cards. Love the pebbles. Had to get two. I have the twine and it is thick. And I tried taking that twine apart, Sherry, if you when you come back to watch. And I just couldn't. But it is perfect for the fishing theme. It's very rugged, yes getting this set. Oh, wonderful. If I have any card kits left, I'll send you one. Betty's a part of my team. Sorry, late. Company from PA. We'll check YouTube. Oh, company from PA. Anyone I know? I'm only allowed to drive close to home. Yeah. Hope you get good news from your surgeon. Thank you. I do have tweezers. You can hold the twine in the middle so you can... Yes, I know that. I know that. <laughs> I was like, uh, you know, not golfing, folding. Uh, I was I was being stubborn. Okay. So do I miss anything else? Uh, great cards. Thank you, Fran. All right, everyone. Thank you all so much for joining me. This was a lot of fun. I enjoyed it. Who knows? Maybe next week I'll be doing more fishing. But in the meantime, if you're interested in the class, don't hesitate. Let me know. It comes right to your door, your kit. All you need is the stamps and the dyes, unless you want to color in your fish your own way or do do your own thing. I mean, the bobber, you can very easily just color that bottom in. Everything is pre-cut for you and ready to go. You just have to stamp and, and enjoy and assemble. So that's the best thing. Six different cards that you can create and a little extra treat in there for you as well. And it's going to be live. It's going to be live on Facebook on um, June 17th. I don't think I mentioned that. June 17th is a Saturday, just in time for Father's Day the next day. So the 17th is going to be 10 in the morning. If you could um, go live with me, then that's great. If you uh, have to watch the replay at another time, then that's perfectly fine as well. All right, everyone, have a wonderful rest of your evening, a very special weekend.
friends, and please be safe out there. And until next week, we'll see you then. Bye, everyone.